Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you some interior design tricks that you can use in your small space to make it look and feel larger. If you're living in a small apartment, a small home, or even a shared space, these tricks will help maximize the space that you do have and really make the most of it. So if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And I want to give a huge thank you to Nordic Track for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. One thing I think a lot of people forget about is their paint finish and what that can do to their small space. If you like using bold, dark colors, which are very on trend right now, then you should consider using a high gloss paint. High gloss paints are reflective and they almost act like a mirror in some ways and they don't absorb as much light. So they're really gonna bounce light around your room and make your space feel larger. High gloss paint is one of the most durable paint options you can choose because it's so easy to clean. So it's perfect for small rooms like small mud rooms, small entryways, small powder rooms, and small kitchens. If there's any splatter or mess, everything can be cleaned up very easily. Usually painting is a very DIY friendly thing that you can do, but high gloss paint is a little bit harder to work with and it accentuates any details or flaws. So it's perfect if you have crown molding and trim work that you really want to bring out. But if you have any bumps in your walls or anything that's a little bit of a flaw, I would definitely go the professional route so they can smooth out your walls and make sure that your paint looks perfect. So if you have any small spaces around your home that just feel a little bit closed in, just changing that paint finish will make a huge difference. It's gonna bounce light, it's gonna expand the look of your walls, it's gonna make that space look dramatic and fun, and I think it's such a great design move that you can make this year. Let me know down below in the comments if you would ever consider a high gloss finish or if you think it might be a little bit too bold for you. Now, when it comes to furniture, I think always try and opt for some kind of folding option. There are so many great folding ottomans that can double as seating for your living room and you can close them up and put them away in a closet and save space in your home. You can also do the same with fold out dining tables, fold out dining chairs, and you can actually hang them on your walls and keep that floor space. So this is especially useful for any small apartment or studio space where you really need every square inch of that place. Now, these don't have to be those fold-out plastic tables or lawn chairs. You can get gorgeous fold-out pieces now. It's just become such a popular thing that there's so many great options now. So anything that can flatten and collapse is going to be perfect for a small space. I really love the use of fold-out desks or any kind of fold-out surface because if you work from home sometimes, you don't need your stuff out all the time, taking up space, really cluttering your space. So secretary desks that really fold away and act as is just a nice storage element in your space is a great option. I think Ikea does a great job with all of their small home elements that fold away, tuck away, and take up very minimal space. So you don't have to sacrifice style for functionality. I will link some of my favorite fold out furniture options down below in the description box because there are some great finds out there that I know you're gonna love. Now, no matter what size your space is, I think you should always do one thing that's gonna accentuate the height of your space. If you can't create more floor space, create the look of extra height in your space. It's just gonna bring the eye up, really make the space feel larger, and you can do this in many ways. I like using large plants in small spaces to really accentuate the height of the space. And it brings life and color upward and just gives you more to look at. So plants and trees with height are really gonna be a great place to start. You can also do this with wall-mounted lighting. Sconces with long arms that will accentuate the height of your space are going to be very effective. They're also going to add light, add functionality, and create a very striking design element. You can also do this with wall art. If you have a small space, don't get small artwork. Go bigger. Go bigger with your gallery walls. Go bigger with your wall art size. It's just going to make your space look larger instantly. So always play with height. It's such an easy thing that makes a really big difference in a small space. Now, I've noticed that a lot of small apartments or small spaces, shared spaces, use a lot of room dividers. And room dividers, in my opinion, just take up more floor space and they're not as functional as you were imagining them to be. So I think a better option would be to mount your curtains to your ceiling and use them as a room divider. I think they look beautiful. They're effective for really dividing spaces 
and they can really add some more functionality to your home. Ikea has a great track system called the Vigda system and it's great. It can hang right on the ceiling. It's very minimal. You don't see a rod and it creates a floor to ceiling curtain effect. So if you have a studio apartment and you really want to create a divide between your bedroom and your kitchen or something like that, a wall mounted curtain system would be super effective because you can close it when you need and open it up and it doesn't take up any floor space. This is really effective for any size space. Maybe you have kids and you want to divide that space up for play space. You can create a divide with the curtain panel and it's just going to hide away some of that clutter that you might not want to see all the time. It's going to create a visual divide, sometimes even a noise divide if you get a thicker curtain and it's just going to help you create functional spaces around your home. Always make sure to measure your floor to ceiling height so you can pick the perfect height panel. You don't want a weird gap underneath. You really want that panel to go floor to ceiling. So make sure you do that and I think it will be perfect. Now, I always think that an organized small space will always look and feel bigger than a cluttered small space. One specific type of organization that I think works wonders is magnetized organization. Organization products that attach magnetically to your fridge, appliances, or laundry machine. I think these add extra storage space, extra usable space, and they actually allow you to keep your surfaces clear. So these magnetic pieces really work with your vertical height that you have and allow you to free up your surface space. Now I think the key and the most clever way to really make the most of your small space is highlight multi-purpose, multifunctional pieces. Anything that can do more than just one purpose is going to work wonders in a small space. Choose a sofa that's also a sleeper sofa, something that you can pull out and turn into a bed. I've also seen sleeper chairs and sleeper ottomans, so you don't need a large sofa to create a bed. You can create a bed out of a very small piece. Also coffee tables that lift up and can turn into desks or dining space. That way you can eat dinner, you could work there. It just creates this multi-purpose effect. I would also suggest following this when it comes to workout equipment. You shouldn't have to fill up a space in your home with workout equipment to get an amazing workout. I think if you can find one product that does more for you and allows you to get a full workout without filling up your entire space, that's the way to go. I recently got the S27i Studio Bike by Nordic Track and their iFit membership to do trainer led workouts. And Oh my goodness, you can do everything on this bike. It's small and compact, but it has a large 27 inch touchscreen. So you're just engulfed in the experience. With the iFit membership, it's not just workouts for your specific machine. You can just tilt the screen and actually do a workout on the side that has nothing to do with the bike. The iFit program allows you to do yoga workouts, body weight workouts, HIIT workouts, cross training, and live workouts in the iFit program. And I don't have to worry about commuting or time of day or weather. I can get my workout in no matter what. It's compact and it's absolutely silent. It also inclines and declines, which I've never seen in a bike. It's so realistic and really gives you that amazing workout inside your home. You can participate in global workouts with iFit trainers all around the world in the comfort of your own home. The iFit membership is the best part about it all because you can really transport yourself into different countries. I was on a ride in Italy the other day, which was so beautiful. Right now, my favorite trainer is Jenny Fletcher. She's so nice. She was actually the first trainer I ever tried and I just got hooked on her ability to really encourage you and storytell and give you facts about the area you're biking in. And she just seems so nice. If you're not someone that's really great at coming up with your own workout plan, then this will do it for you. The bike automatically inclines, declines, and adjusts your resistance. So if you've been looking for the perfect small piece of equipment that's gonna do everything for you and really kickstart your year and your workout plan, I would highly recommend the Nordic Track and the iFit membership program. It is incredible. You can use my code NTKristen25 and click the link down below my description box to get your own Nordic track. Now, I think a fun way to make your living room in particular feel larger is play around with alternative coffee table options. You don't always need to just get a coffee table just because it's your living room. There are no rules when it comes to that. If you want to save space in your living room, 
opt for nesting tables or even a skinny bench. Skinny benches are the best way to really maximize your space if you have a narrow living room. Coffee tables do take up a large space in your living room and you might wanna use that for something else. So think about what's really important for you in that space and maximize that. So I would maximize my sofa and really get a comfortable large sofa as opposed to a large coffee table. I think it will just add a huge amount of space to your most used room and really make the most of it without Without sacrificing functionality and design. Now I think a very effective way of tricking the eye into thinking you have double the amount of space is using large scale mirrors. Floor mirrors, wall to wall mirrors, floor to ceiling mirrors, Large mirrors will really trick the eye into thinking that your space expands into the next room. It is so effective and it's a great way of doubling your views as well. I always recommend using mirrors on opposite walls than windows or walls right beside windows because that light will reflect so well and you'll actually double your view. It's gonna make it look like you have more windows than you actually have. Even if your space is small, get the largest mirror that you can because it's gonna make your small space feel larger instantly. You can do this at the end of hallways so you can create the look of a larger hallway. You can add width to your space by really bouncing light from one wall to another with mirrors and you can really lengthen any room with tall mirrors. Plus if you love the look of your room or you love the look of your view it's gonna really just add to your space because it's gonna give you more of that. So if you're struggling to find wall art maybe opt for a large-scale mirror because it's actually gonna do more for your space than you expected. And lastly when it comes to picking furniture and decor for your small space, don't think just because your space is small you need small scale pieces because sometimes getting too many small products makes your space look cluttered and overcrowded. Instead, work with large and small pieces. Really doing a mix of large scale items and small is gonna work to your advantage. Sometimes when you walk into a small space and everything is tiny, it just makes everything look smaller than it really needs to be. I think you can have full size pieces as long as you mix them with smaller scale pieces and really allowing you to have your most important things be the largest, it's going to work wonders. As long as you do a good mix, your space will look balanced and actually look proportioned to your home. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this gave you some ideas that you can start implementing into your small space. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these design tricks would you really want to try out in your home. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!